Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are doing well today. Praise God, hallelujah. Come on, somebody, let's give him glory. Let's give him glory. This ain't no face. Come on, somebody, you got to do this thing for real. You got to love for real. You got to pray for real. You got to have a relationship with God for real. And I'm going to tell you right now, God says over. I'm going to play this clip. I'm going to wait till some of you get on. Let me tell you something. You guys, just go ahead, um, bear with me. I'm playing this clip for a reason because I want you to look at the end, but we're going to go through this whole little shenanigans because that's what it is. God says church shenanigans. So I want y'all to just look at this. I I'm going to tell you, I'm going somewhere. I command belly fat to go. Stop walking in front of the prophet. <laughs> Okay, all right. Hold on. Let me go back a little bit because I, I want to go back here. Hold on. Hold on. I don't want to watch it again. Hold on. I want, I want to pull out something. Hold on. All right. I want y'all to look, look at it. Listen. It's very important, this part. Stop it. Stop it right there. Let me tell y'all something. People laughed. I even laughed. I'm not lying. Do you know? Praise God, praise God. And I know y'all know I don't roll by lying. I promise you God brought that little boy up in my spirit last night. And God said, everybody thought it was a game. He said, but he actually put those words in that child's mouth. And everybody, you know, I knew it was something because I, I made shirts. I said, I'm tired of this church because it hit my spirit. But I didn't know the full capacity. I'm telling y'all, but thus said the Lord. God said he tired of this church. Oh, I'm going here. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Let me tell y'all what God said. God said he's tired. He's tired of everybody lying. He's tired of everybody connying. He's tired of people just pimping the gospel. He's tired. This is not just about money. This, let me tell you what they do. I got to break this thing down. I got to slow down because I'm very perturbed. I have a righteous anger, you guys. You know what God told me? And I've been told y'all this. And, and I, as some of you that follow me, you're going to understand. I've been said this year, this is what's happening. Let me go ahead and put it out there. The true ones that are on Facebook, let me tell you what people do. And God showed me this years ago. People come on Facebook. They search for true prophets. They go. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm using myself as an example. You know how many people come to my page, and I'm talking about famous people where they take information and they go back and they tweak it. And I know it because God always brings it back to me. And I laugh. I laugh. Now, understand the information that God gives us for everybody. But when you lie and say that God gave it to you, that's a whole nother story. Oh, let me finish. Let me tell you what they do. So they go to certain people pages that they know are true or authentic. I could do this. I could do that. And that's a very dangerous thing. That's what prophet, so say Joshua Holmes, P-R-O-F-I-T, Brian Karn, a, a, a lot of names. I could just keep on them. Y'all get mad at me, but I'm just to tell you the truth what God said. Now, Brian Karn, he was with the Lord at one time, but you got to understand he got under Ben Hinn. Once you get under somebody that's not authentic, I promise you're going to be the next unauthentic person. Well, come on somebody. Let me tell you how this thing rolls. God will anoint you and God will appoint you. But yes, he will reject you. Come on, somebody. Ask King Saul. Let's just be honest. So they go from page to page and they say, I could do this. Now, this is the dangerous part about that. You can fake the funk all day long because some people got the gift of gab. Some people can sell ice water. Come on, somebody in Alaska. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. But the difference is you could only do it for so long. Come on, somebody walk with me right now. You can only 
been perpetrated for so long. Because if you are not authentically called, you will be exposed. That's me, you, anybody. How are you doing? Hallelujah. And that's what's happening. That's why they're getting exposed. Because let me tell you something. A lot of people, and that's nothing. There's not a whole lot of authentic people, y'all. I'm sorry, but it's just not true. Everybody is not an apostle. Everybody is not a prophet. Everybody is not an evangelist. Everybody is not a minister. Some people are just doing this because it's lucrative. What is lucrative is a money maker. Come on, somebody. Don't play with me today. It's a money maker. And the crazy part is you got these silly women. I'm sorry. The Bible says silly women. Look it up. The scriptures. He says, silly women, y'all are, y'all are more the fault because these men are taking advantage. You don't notice that men, first of all, in every church in America, if you don't believe me, look around. There's more women than men, huh? Men are not easy gullible. Now they are in the flesh, but when it comes to common sense, wisdom and discernment, they can look at some sometime and say, that ain't right. Women, oh, the, I just love them. They, they, I, I, uh, and, and all you do is get in, engaged in their looks. The, oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Y'all can come for me all day long. We can go. We're going to go the next couple of days because some of you are not going to like what I'm getting ready to say. And I really don't care because the best thing I can do, tell you, is to go to God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't I always say that? Go to God. You see Marcus Rogers? He's a nice young man. That man is not called, y'all. But to tell y'all that, Y'all will get mad. Now he has a word of knowledge, but I wonder where he gets it from. That man is pimping y'all just because he look good. Y'all ain't ready for me. Most of the men on Facebook are pimping y'all because they look good. Or y'all think they look good because I can see through stuff. I'm sorry. I've always been able to just see through stuff. Maybe because I come from where I come from. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You you, you see, I, I I come from a place where I know where they, how, they, how they pimping, how they simping, how they limping. How they, oh, don't play with me. Hallelujah. You better learn God for yourself in this hour because God is not playing y'all. I'm telling you, the hammer is about to fall. Today, my spirit felt so heavy. I said, God, what's going on? God said, I'm getting ready to do something. I'm going to tell y'all like I've been telling y'all. I see people falling down day. Y'all, I don't know if y'all think that y'all it's worth it. It's not worth it. Lying on God is not worth it. Pretending it's not worth it. Perpetrating it's not worth it because guess what you're doing? You are playing. The Bible says that it is a fearful thing to fall in the hand of the living God. You can't lie on God and think that there's no consequences. You can't play with God's people, make them believe that you are true and you're not. That calls for me or anybody else. Yes, we all have flaws. I know that. But I'm trying to tell you something. You can't play with God and think nothing is going to happen to you. That sooner or later will come to find you, my friend. Come on, somebody. How they said your sins will find you out. But ain't nobody want to hear that. I'm going to tell you right now, I just pray that the body of Christ gets it together. There's too many scandals from John, Joshua Holmes to whomever is next. I told y'all a year ago, two years ago, y'all don't remember me saying that God will allow them to expose themselves. Isn't that what's happening? If you notice, it's not too many people exposing them after they've been exposed. It's been themselves. God will allow you to expose yourself. You ain't got to worry about it. Ain't nobody got to set you up. Ain't nobody got to pray. Come on, somebody. I promise you, in this season, you will be exposed, said the Lord. And people just thinking it's a game. This is not a game. This ain't never been no game. Now, I'm going to tell you what it is a game. It's a money game. Y'all want money more than you want God. You better stop that. You better stop that, thus said the Lord. You better stop that foolishness. People dying every day without God, and y'all just worrying about money. Really? Really, church? We better get it together. I put myself in there, too. We all fall short of the glory of God, but come on, somebody. I'm going to tell you what's happening. You're going too far. You, you, you know, you know, you, you should have some wisdom. There should be some kind of conviction of the Holy Ghost to say, all right, now you're going too far. You stop, stop. But I'm going to tell you what's happening. You know why they can't stop? Because once you get to a certain place where you just really ignore God, the Holy Spirit, time after time, he gives you over to a reprobate mind. And once you get a reprobate mind, you can't hear him. And once you can't hear him, that's a rap. That's what happened to Samson. Samson didn't even know that God had left him. What am I saying? They don't even know that God have left them. And I hear y'all in the spirit. Well, pray for them. Don't you think we have? But if you really know your Bible, 
God exposed every and anybody that did wrong. So I don't know why y'all sitting up there with that old stupid spirit. Yeah, I got to call it a stupid spirit. Uh, You know, we're not supposed to judge, but we got a whole book of judges. We got a law judge. We got, man, go ahead with that foolishness. Um, You know, you're supposed to do this. We did do that. Um, They did that. Um, you, Whatever. Stop that. Stop that. That's what's wrong with the church. We have lost our standard. And God is raising up some people that's going to hold that standard. It don't matter what you say, how how you say it, how you look at them, what you do, hallelujah, nobody playing, so that's all God told me to say, Whew, hallelujah to his name, so God bless you, God keep you, and I pray that you understand, but you know I got to do it one more time, I got to end it with what I begin it in, praise God, praise God, hold on, like I said, God said, hold on, How you like that thing? No one wanna play, but they they must have got mad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have perfect pitch name. <laughs> oh, and there it is. Oh. All right, God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Realized soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.